This is tutorial number two, and it covers the workbenches within CATIA v5. Now, within CATIA v5, you're going to have multiple different workbenches that you'll be working on all at one time. To view them, what you have to do is click Start, and you'll see all of these here are workbench portfolios, and inside of them, you will have a workbench product. So right now, let's just go into one. So let's click the part design workbench. So let's click it, and we'll make a new part. And we're in the part design workbench. Now, each workbench is going to have a different set of toolbars listed on the side here. Now, if you flip to another workbench, you can have another set of toolbars with different features and parameters. So let's flip to another one now. Let's click Start, click Shape, click Generative Shape Design, and now we have another set of options on the side. And we'll do this again. So let's click Start, click Mechanical Design, click Assembly Design, and again, we have a new set of toolbars, different options, different parameters and features to play with. So within CATIA v5, we're going to be bouncing from one workbench to another, using and optimizing all the different features and components that go along with each workbench. And that concludes our tutorial on the workbenches within CATIA v5.